welcome to this episode of You, Me, and Sicily, where we'll be discussing Holy Week, Easter, one of the most important and religious festivals here in Sicily. It really starts on Palm Sunday and it leads up to Easter Sunday, where it's the clash between the forces of evil and the forces of goodness. Friday, evil wins. Sunday, when the Lord rises, jubilation starts. You're so poetic. <laughs> Check out these beautiful palms, handmade. We picked up a few of them. We'll talk a little bit more about these at the end. Enjoy this episode of You, Me, and Sicily. Holy Week in Sicily is filled with religious fervor, symbolism, and celebrations of spring and rebirth. Whether in small villages or large cities, Easter is one of the most important religious celebrations in Sicily. It is a fight between good and evil, God and the devil. Palm Sunday, or Domenica della Palma, you can find beautiful hand-woven palms sold outside most churches. The shapes and size are impressive, and so is the artwork. A few weeks before Palm Sunday, mom-and-pop stores, bakeries, and supermarkets start selling all things for Easter, especially Easter eggs and Columba cakes. In Via Grande, for Palm Sunday, at our favorite little shop in Via Grande, Afiu shop, and it's festooned with uh, all stuff for, for, uh, for uh, Palm Sunday. There's the Cordura there, see? A Cordura? <laughs> <laughs> yep. See, that's the other Sicilian way. Take a look at it. It's a very delicate ba uh, pastry. Excuse me. Eh, questa è una altra. Scusate, scusate. Grazie mille. Prego. Sì. Fate qua? Tu fate qua? Sì, li facciamo sì. noi. Ah, Io make... li faccio. Ah, Brava. sì. Certo. She makes them over here. And, uh, of course, they're really busy today. Pa uh, Palm Sunday, La Festa della Palma, and stuff is flying out of here. And uh, Esther, what do you think? Beautiful, right? Look ah. at all the eggs. Eggs are all over the place, huh? Wait, those are called, uh, what are those called? What are they well? called? They're called uh, Chocolate de Pasqua. See, right? Uova de Pasqua. Oh, Uova de Pasqua. Excuse me. Uova de Pasqua. Excuse me. First, these are the Uova de Pasqua Easter eggs for kids. They've got all types, all flavors, and all sizes. Here are the grandi, big, big, big ones. And over here, they have the Columba cake, which of course is so popular during Easter. And very, very different flavors in each one of them. This is dried fruit, and also almonds, chocolate, ooh, chocolate cream, yum. Let me know what your favorite flavor is. And over here, of course, there's the lemon, more chocolate. So there you go. Little Easter display at our local supermarket. It is also time for the martorana, or pastariale, almond paste that is shaped into sheep for Easter. In the mountain town of Enna, in the so-called navel of Sicily, there are a series of quite unique celebrations that date back to the Spanish domination of Sicily in the 1500s. Holy Week includes a striking procession with thousands of hooded brothers, or confratelli, on Good Friday. The brotherhoods wear different colored traditional costumes representing their churches. Before the main procession, there's plenty of preparation and anticipation around the city. The procession can be divided into separate parts and attracts people from all over Sicily and the world who witness in awe this unique spectacle. The hoods are worn as penance for their sins. Men solemnly march from their respective church toward the main Duomo or Cathedral of Enna in an incredibly orchestrated and precise manner. Little girls can also participate in the march but have to dress as nuns, angels, or in their first communion clothing. 
At the same time that the brothers are arriving at the cathedral, the body of Jesus Christ leaves the Church of the Holy Savior, with brothers wearing costumes dating back to the Middle Ages around the 1200s. The yellow costumes with the distinctive red cross were similar to the ones knights wore during the Crusades. The last brotherhood to arrive at the cathedral is Our Lady of Sorrow. Once the body of Jesus Christ and Our Lady of Sorrow have arrived, the brothers exit the church and walk up and down the streets of Enna. On Easter Saturday, lots of cooking and lots of shopping in preparation for Sunday. Whether you want small little, this is a small little takeaway. You brought the canola. Look at those guys, huh? Look at the one over here with the little mountain berries. In the back over here, you've got the pistachio canola. And what better way to break the Lent fast than with the ever popular cassata with layers of rich ricotta? On Easter, Christ has risen, and it is a joyous occasion. In churches and cathedrals, in small villages or big cities around Sicily, people gather to rejoice the resurrection. Processions again, filled with symbolism and the faithful. So, Easter, jubilation, celebration all over Sicily, and on Monday, another day to spend with friends. What's it called? Pasquetta. It's a small day, isn't it? Hey, before I forget, what do you do with last year's palms? That's a very interesting question. The Catholic Church uh, considers these to be holy objects since they've been blessed, so you should not dispose them in the garbage. People say you can do one or two things. Return them to the church so they can bring ashes for, make ashes the following year, or you can burn them yourselves. A lot of Sicilians burn them themselves. They even have a little ceremony, and they sprinkle it in their garden. You know what we do? We hang them up all over the house. They're beautiful decorations. Now, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be updated every time we uh, publish a new episode. And if you've enjoyed this episode of You, Me, and Sicily, check them all out at www.youmeandsicily.com. Wait a minute. We have a Facebook page, right? You, Me, and Sicily. We post there daily. Wait a minute. We have something else that we just started, didn't we? Fireside Chats with Esther and Alfred. Check them out below. Ciao and thanks for watching.